Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borgen. This is going to be a preview to the Philadelphia Phillies versus St. Louis Cardinals. which will be the first game since Aduble Red's 85-game suspension due to his arrest in May of 2019 for a simple assault on his girlfriend back. Um, hopefully, he's able to have some success statistically. It's good. I believe in second chance, it's going to be hard to forgive him for what he did, but the Phillies need production from their center fielder, so definitely wish him well there. But in terms of getting into the game, the Phillies are going to face Adam Rainwright, who really struggled in his first game against Cincinnati, and the, where the Reds' offense was off to an absolutely torching start. But then he's brought his ERA down and actually pitched five solid innings and then six solid in, or five and five against the Nationals and then seven in his last start against the Nationals on the 20th. Um, so he's been bringing his ERA down. So that stat's kind of deceiving from his game in game one where his ERA was at 20.25 after the first game. Um, where when it comes to uh, Zach Wheeler, I still think obviously our Phillies have the advantage in this game. They got wheels going. Um who actually has a 380 or a 1.31 whip. He's 1-2, and two, where Zach Wheeler went at his best is going to be better than Wayno. But Zach Wheeler got off to a flaming hot uh, start this year, um, pitching very good seven inning against the Atlanta Braves. And when we played Atlanta in that seven inning bowl game, he pitched four and a third and then gave up three runs. And then he gave up three runs against those New York Metropolitans in six and a third, but gave up ten hits, so a little bit more hits than you want to see. And then he gave up four in uh, or four and five and two thirds um, against San Francisco, so a little not as squeaky clean in that game. So Wheeler was good in his very good in his first two, then not as great. Well, Wayno was very bad in his first start, and then um, been very solid since. So this is a game that obviously pure stuff where they at at this point of his career. Wheel at his best is better than Wainwright, but the last couple starts his number overall numbers are deceiving for Wainwright because he actually brought his numbers down and actually was pitching fairly well in his last couple starts. But I would still give the Philly the favorite of the starting pitcher here. In terms of predicting who's going to win, I'm going to save that for the end, even because it's going to be harder to do um, when it comes to um, these, just with how bad the Phillies have been on the road, where for some reason guys that just struggle on the road and have the first struggle bunny games on the road just do equally that good at home. So it just doesn't really make a heck of a lot of sense, and it's hard to explain. But the next game, there's Zach Eflin against Carlos Martinez. That's the game I watched. This is my part. Uh, I watched that same starting matchup with my friend Zach, and that was a very good game that Eflin dominated. I feel like he's going to tend to do that again. This is a quick game for me to go over here. I think the Phillies should be able to win that game. Uh, Carlos Martinez um, seems to be, if you look at, his last start, he pitched all, He pitched good. He pitched six innings, only one run ball against the Nationals. But the Nationals have been struggle bunny in this year, too. The whole NL East has, um, really. So it's he did good that start. But other than that, he's been off every single start um, this season um, thus far. So I think he's going to struggle again against the Phillies. I think they have the clear advantage there. I think that's a game they should win, and it would be very unfortunate and pretty piss poor of them if they're not able to take that game with Eflin because I think he'll pitch well again, and Martinez is a guy that's just been getting knocked around minus really one game against the Nationals this year. I'm in the first game to go back real quick. I forgot to give um lineup for tonight's game. is going to be Brad Miller actually leading off back in left field, so he'll be leading off. Reese Hoskins at first base, batting second. Bryce Harper at right field, batting third. JT Romito at catcher, batting fourth. Didi batting or fifth at a shortstop. Boom, Alec Boom, as Michael Bartan likes to say, batting sixth. And then Odubo Rare in his first game back again, seventh at center field. And then Nick Maton, the hot hitting Nick Maton, at second base again, batting eighth. And then Zach Wheelock, who can swing it himself, 222 with two RBIs, um, batting ninth. So if we get a good game out of wheels, I like the pitching matchup for the Phillies in these first two games. Um, and then once we get going um, to the last games, a few games of the series here, the last game is projected as Aaron Nola. When it comes to MLB.com, though, the Phillies have to be determined for Wednesday, but I did read a tweet earlier that it's expected to be Vinny Velasquez starting for Wednesday. So let's just roll with that against uh, Yo John or Johan Aviedo. Um, however you say his name, he only has six MLB career appearances um, in a 460 ERA. He's a 23-year-old, a young kid. Um, Phillies don't do great against those young kids that they don't have a scouting report off of. So, against Vinny Velo, I might almost have to give the Cardinals an advantage there just because our Phils don't tend to do great against those young pitchers that they don't have a scouting report on 
for whatever particular reason. So I feel like that might continue there. I would probably give them the advantage, and I usually give a team the advantage when you have Vinny going as a starter. Because like they adamantly said when Ricky and Michael got in that funny argument on post game, he's not a starter anymore. So if you have him going to start, that's how it is. Now the Cardinals have TBD for Thursday, but that doesn't really matter because the Phillies have Aaron Nola going. It's a Nola day. If Nola can pitch his best, he can beat anyone in that Cardinals rotation, including, or including excuse me, Jack Flaherty. So I think that that's a game the Phillies should be able to win. The game tonight, because Wayne has been pitching better of late, where Wheeler hasn't been as squeaky clean in his last two, um, is definitely still advantage to Wheeler, but it's not as separative as just the ERA stats would show. So I think that's a toss-up. But the Phillies should definitely be able to at least split this series because you have no excuse to use a game when you have Zach Eflin going against Carlos Martinez and with Aaron Nola on the mound, especially because it's at 115. Hopefully you get a warm day in St. Louis. He flourishes in those warmer days. You got a warm day in Missouri at 115. I think that's a game he can flourish in if you get nice warmer weather. Hopefully there won't be rain or anything. So if you're able to have a nice day game, he does better in day games. I think Noel will flourish in that game. That should be a win. You should have a win in the Eflin game. So I think my goal is because the Phillies have been so piss poor away. They're coming off of a bad game or a bad set of games, a terrible last game, but a bad set of games where you almost forget they even won the middle game, thank God for Reese Hoskins, against the Rockies. I'm looking for them to split this series to just have some solace, have some solitude, have some confidence on the road to actually be able to split a series against a pretty darn good Cardinals team um, and be able to just get two games that they should definitely be able to get with Eflin against Martinez, and I don't care who they put up against Nolan. When it comes to Vince Velasquez, he's going to have to pitch with that young kid, Aviendo there, or however you say his name, or Johan Aviedo or O-V-I-E-D-O um, for the Cardinals there. But I sound like Kevin Moore not being able to announce that, but he seems like a solid young kid just looking at his stats uh, from the minors there, but don't know much about him. So we have to see if Vinny Velo can pitch and keep you in the game. And then the guys can actually hit, which was more of an issue 0 for 10 in the game he last pitched than it actually was a bullpen blow in that game. So we'll see what he's able to do, but that's a bigger wild card. So I would say you should at least split this with the Eflin game. And the NOLA game tonight's a wild card because Wayne has been much better in his last three. So I feel like they, with how good he's coming in actually being better in his last few starts, will actually continue that against the Phillies. But Wheeler's a very good pitcher as well. But you have to split this series. You have to come in with some confidence on the road back to home when the Phillies will then take on those New York Metropolitans. Yet again, I hope you all enjoyed this Philadelphia Phillies vs. St. Louis Cardinals series preview. Hopefully for the series reaction, Andrew will be back and be able to join me. He's been busy working with the Northwestern Oklahoma State baseball team since he has a grad internship there. But I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Have a great safe and pleasant day. Please follow SteelFlyers.com as we're renovating the site and getting some great new um, savvy technology stuff up on the site. All the teams are listed for each sport, so please check that out. But have a great day and please like, comment, and subscribe, and go Phillies.